För första gången sedan 1926 ligger allt arbete nere i Vänglands kolgruvor. 280 000 gruvarbetare är i strejk sedan fyra veckor tillbaka. En strejk som nu hotar landets kraftförsörjning och därmed också den brittiska industrin. Men inte bara kolgruvorna man är missnöjd. Förra året sattes nytt engelskt rekord i förlorade arbetsdagar på grund av strejker. Samtidigt går idag mer än en miljon människor arbetslösa. Are we to continue in this strike? Yes! yes! Are we solid? Yes! Det råder en dov bitterhet i kolgruvorna där arbetet redan rationaliserats hårt. Efter andra världskriget förstatligades kolindustrin och under de senaste 15 åren har över 400 000 arbetare tvingats lämna gruvorna. Det här är kolgruvan i Oakdale, Wales största. I vanliga fall arbetar 1200 man här och de flesta tjänar, liksom i alla andra engelska kolgruvor, mindre än 300 kronor i veckan. Och det är innan skatten är dragen. Vad man nu begär är 90 kronor mer i veckan, men kolstyret går inte med på mer än 25. Och under tiden ligger kolet orört, inte ens åtkomligt för invånarna i Oakdale. No, we're not allowed on the ground here. Not allowed to touch this. But uh, what will happen when you are out of coal? Well, we might have to come up and steal some from you, provided nobody about. Stealing? Steal, yeah. So this strike. Uh... May uh, might 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 have made you a uh, thief. Yeah, it would do, I suppose. And you can't let your children go cold. When you started in the colliery, it had uh, one of the top wages. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, what is it now? Well, I'm a craftsman, and my wage is twenty-two pounds fifteen, or twenty-two seventy-five pay. How come this uh, difference from being one of the top uh, wages? And now, one of the low wages. Well, at one time, I mean, they, they stopped, they closed all the pits. They didn't want coal up uh, about eight years ago. Well, now they find they want it, and uh, we've got to struggle now to get a higher wage. How much do you get after all deductions and taxes? That's, uh, they stopped my rent as well, so I about 18 pounds. You have a wife and family? Wife and three children. Is that uh, possible to make a living? Not a lot, not a lot. I want to give up smoking. I like to have a pint of beer, so I give up smoking, so I can have a pint. Uh, you work o overtime for that too? No, not for that. I work. I do work overtime to have a little bit extra for holidays. Yes, but uh, there are families that have less money. I don't know how they manage. I don't know how they manage. And now, how much do you get uh, when you are on strike? Uh, Eleven pounds a week. You have uh, three sons, you have yeah. said. Do you think uh, they want to become miners? No, no, they don't. I what? don't think so. Why? Well, it isn't a very good environment down in the dirt. We've had to do it. Well, they, I hope they don't have to do it. Some other job for them. Your father told me that you don't want to become a miner. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Why? Well, I don't think there's enough safety precautions. Uh, it's too dirty down there. Uh, oh, Dad had an accident down there, and that's why I don't think there's so much safety precautions, like the fires in the pits. Has your father told you about uh, his job? Yes, he have taken me down. We had a look at the model on the surface. But it is, but it is uh, not only because of the safety precautions. It's about the money too, perhaps? Yes. Uh, how, how much do you know about uh, his job? Quite a bit. He tells me about it. Uh, when, we, when I had a mining project in the school, he told me about that and did a few drawings for me. What is uh, your father like when he comes home from school? Tired. He's not dirty because he washes in the baths down there, but he's very tired. What profession do you want then? I'd rather be in the forces than down the mine. How old are you? Twelve. Yes, but uh, yes. why aren't you at school now? Because uh, there's not, well, there's some coal left. But they want that for the examination pupils. So that's because of the coal uh, you yes. lost at school? How much money do you get uh, from your husband's wage every week? He brings home 18.60 and I have 
15 pound. And uh, he spends three for his tenants? Yes. It must be difficult to uh, live on this wage. It is. It's a struggle, especially if you want to get shoes for the children. I mean, I've got three. And I buy one one week and one another. You couldn't go out and get, say, three pairs of shoes in one week. He also gave up smoking because he couldn't afford to smoke and have a pint of beer. Uh, your husband is a miner too, is that right? Yes. And you too have difficulties with the economy? Yes, we've got a job to live. How do you manage? Well, you've got to go bargaining and you've got to look in one shop for one thing and look in another shop for another thing and see, compare the two prices together and then go and get the cheapest because you can't afford to go and get the dearest. You sound bitter. I am. Very much. So you are supporting your husband's strike? Definitely, in every way. Well, this house, uh, does it belong to you? No. It is coal board. It belongs, if he leaves the, the colliery, well, we lose the house. Yes. That is the hole. This is our living room. And these grates we had to put in ourselves. They were ranges, bio ranges. And this is where we eat. There are our bathrooms, but we have to do everything there. Washing, clean your veg, do your dishes. How much do you pay for rent for this house? $1.59. But they've just put new windows in and a new door, and it is said now that we'll have to pay three pound rent. For a new windows and a door? Yes. It must be very uncomfortable to wash in this. It's very awkward. But you've got to do what alterations you do, you do for your own comfort. These are our own doors on the back. That's where I cook. It is uh, pretty chilly in the kitchen. Oh yes, this is cold. This is what we put on ourselves because there was nowhere else to put a cooker. Some people have got them in the bathroom, but well, I could never manage with it then. And what is That's it? That's the coal house, and as you will see, we're very low on coal. Once the coal goes, we're without hot water. This is where the children sleep. It's, ve it's very cold in here. Yes, there's no heating at all. No heating here. at all. No. But the boys must uh, be cold for that. Well, uh, they're used to it. I'm very worried about it. But when they'll come, I don't know. Do you like living like this? No. But there are families. Uh, oh, there's that families live worse. far worse off than us. There's people with no hot water, and well, very s small places, smaller than this, with families. Is uh, this where you usually work? No, no, I work underground. How far underground? Half a mile. How come you started to, in, in the mine? Well, I served an apprenticeship as a, as a mason, but I'd rather come to the pit then or go to, the, go to the army. Well, I came to the pit instead. How old were you then? 21. How long have you been a miner now? Since then, since, since uh, about 20 years. What are you actually doing down there? I'm an underground mason. What does uh, Mason do? Well, he builds ventilation doors, um, concrete engines in, anything that comes within brick, laying bricks. What does a day of work like down in the mine? Yeah, well, it's warm, very, very warm at times. Cold in other places, very dusty. Not so good at all down there. It's a hard job? Yeah, there's harder jobs than mine, a lot harder than mine in some of the jobs. Dangerous? Very dangerous. Have you seen any accidents? Yes, I had a man killed with me not so long ago. Run over with a journey of drums. This, this type of thing. Uh, when do you start in the morning? Seven o'clock. And work until? Quarter past two. Do you have any breaks? Twenty minutes from twenty to eleven to eleven o'clock. And uh, what do you do then? Just have a sandwich, a cup of tea if you take a flask, a drink of water and then back to work. You're not coming up? Uh... No, no, no. It's too far away to come up. In wintertime, you don't see daylight very often. Do you? Not very often, no. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel going down on the summer's day? Well, it isn't hot when it's, when you see the sun about. Can you say you like your job? Oh, I like, like my job, but it's, it's something I've got used to. Like. I doubt if I'd go down again if I had my choice over. 
De flesta kolgruvorna ligger nu helt döda. Man sköter inte ens underhållsarbetena som i många fall är nödvändiga för att kunna sätta igång driften igen. Men det gör man i Oakdale-gruvan och det gav oss möjlighet att följa med ner i gruvan. How far is it down to the pit? It's 627 yards to the bottom. To the bottom? To the bottom. We are traveling now at 40 feet a second. We are traveling 40 feet a second. How much time does it take to go down to the bottom? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes. How many people can gather in this lift normally? 25 on this one and 25 on the bottom deck. It's a double deck college. There's not as many of these in the coal fields. 25 on each other, and band. And we're going, we're going down to the bottom now, yes. actually. Yes. Down to the bottom. You will go say now if you're landing. The it's, of Colby. it's quite the speed, this one. Yeah, yeah. But when it is loaded with coal, it goes for much faster. faster, faster, faster. How far? It, it how goes far, uh, 50, 50 feet to a second. When it's cold on. Well, now we're soon there. Yeah, we're not far from the bottom now. Where are we going to the bottom now? It seems to be very damp in here. Yes, it is. It is damp. You've got all the water coming from the, the surface, see? Yes, yes. Soaking down too. Well, now see the bottom. You're right. You're coming on to the bottom now. There's an onset here now, Hitcher. Yeah. So now you can't go any further down? No, no you stop me. There, yeah, there it is. You're down now. Mike? Here is the coal. What has filled before the strike. Ready to work now and it's all over. How long have you... And the man that they want to take a cup of water, yeah? Okay. All right? Yeah. This is the onset of this. He, he puts the men up and down the pit. Yes. How long mm -hmm. have you been working here? I've been here 43 years. Four, 43 four, years underground. Yeah. 43 years? 43 years underground. Mm. What is it like going down here for 43 years all of a day? You don't see much daylight. Take it on me. It's dark yet and when you come down in the morning it's dark and you don't see much when you go up. We don't go up the pit until quarter past two by the time you get home to the house. We haven't got much light. How much inside of the mountain is it now? Well, uh, we can go in there about uh, three miles into the furthest face. And we can go up three and a half miles up to the 14. That's the furthest again. This picture here, what is that for? Hi. This is what it is for testing the, any, bad, any bad roof, uh, anything like that. And then uh, gas is my ball here. You have a gas stick too? Yeah. We've got a test for gas for the men into the, the districts. What will happen if there is gas in here? Well, you've got, you've got to clear it then. Yes. If, if you let it accumulate, it's yes. liable to uh, our explosion. Oh, I see. A uh, fire. You squeeze your ball right up. Have you seen any accidents here? Yes, I have had a good many myself. Yes? I had my finger off 17 years ago. Yes. Anyone? And I busted all my inside. I had two operations tried for that right. It didn't right yet. You can't like your job then. Yeah, yeah. See, I test for ghastly. Lower your flame to a testing flame. That's a testing flame now, see? Yes, I see. any gas about it, show on the flame. There's nothing here, it's all clear. Fortunately, there's no gas now. See, uh, no gas at all, see? You just squeeze him and uh, no gas at all. If there was gas there, he'd show on the flame what percentage. 